the Miami Dolphins have released their final injury report of the week ahead of their Thursday night game against the Baltimore Ravens, but it didn't shed more light on the status of quarterback Tua Tungavailoa. Unlike the first two days of the week, the Dolphins conducted a regular practice Wednesday and Tungavailoa was listed as a limited participant for a third consecutive day this week. As we chronicled Tuesday, Tungavailoa's status for the game against the Ravens likely won't be determined until he goes through pregame warm-ups Thursday night. Tungavailoa already has missed four starts this season, three because of the rib injury he sustained in Week 2 and the one against the Houston Texans last week because of his finger injury. This is the third time in five weeks Tungavailoa has been listed as questionable. Besides the Houston game, it happened ahead of the Jacksonville game when he made his return from the rib injury. Tungavailoa was one of only two Dolphins players with a game status designation Wednesday, the other being defensive back Elijah Campbell. The waiver pickup from the New York Jets has become a valuable contributor on special teams. Baltimore Final Injury Report The Ravens had five players with game status designations after conducting a third consecutive walk through Wednesday. Offensive lineman Patrick McCarry, ankle, and running back Latavius Murray, ankle, both were listed as doubtful while Brandon Williams, shoulder, tight end Nick Boyle, knee, and wide receiver Sammy Watkins, thigh, were listed as questionable. McCarry, Murray and Williams were listed as not participating Wednesday based on an estimation, Boyle was listed as limited, and Watkins was listed as a full participant. Williams, it should be noted, was listed as a limited participant in the estimations for Monday and Tuesday before the DNP listing Wednesday. Williams did not play in Baltimore's 34-31 overtime victory against Minnesota last Sunday, and his physical presence would be missed in the middle of the Baltimore defensive line. Miami Dolphins fans can agree with Robert Hunt about the offensive lineman. Miami Dolphins starting guard Robert Hunt had a few things to say about how the offensive linemen are feeling and fans can certainly agree. Hunt was speaking with the media and said the offensive linemen are pissed off about their performance last weekend against the Houston Texans. Well, they should be pissed but not just for their performance against the Texans. The offensive line should be pissed off about their entire season. So far this year they have rushed for exactly 676 yards on 192 attempts. There are players already with better stats than that. So yeah, pissed off? They should be. Of all the players on the line, Hunt is the last one that needs to be criticized. He has played well and is showing even more signs of improvement. He is becoming the Dolphins' best lineman and already is the best interior lineman on the roster. The Dolphins' coaching staff really should be to blame here. Lemuel Jean-Pierre has no business being an offensive line coach outside of an assistant right now. He doesn't have the experience and it shows on the field. The offensive line has had communication issues, assignment issues, and Jesse Davis is having the worst season of his entire career. Brian Flores is on his fourth offensive lineman coach in three seasons and that too is part of the problem. There is no consistency and if he were smart, he will make another change after this season, if not before this season is over. Yes, as you know, it is that bad on the O-line. Nothing is going to change until Brian Flores realizes that changes need to be made. Hunt and the rest of the offensive linemen can be as ticked off as they want but they are not showing any fight at all on the field, and that is over the span of nine weeks, not one game. You get pissed off because you had a bad game but why is it taking so long to realize that every week has been a problem? Hunt needs to step up and become a leader on the unit because he is the only one playing with any attitude and fire. Maybe it will ignite a fire under everyone else.